Hello, in this tutorial, we'll write a Java program to check an array contains a given value. So let's say we have integer array, uh, array equals to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. And we have value to find, which is an integer. Let's say value equals to, or let me give it a find equals to 5. If I want to check if there is a 5. And I declare my boolean variable which is check equals to false by default and if we found out we will make it true. So we start a loop and we loop over every element from the array and we check if that element is equals to our find then we say check equals to true and we break the loop because we don't need to iterate more since we have found our value and we check if our check is true then we say that um, we say our uh, find is found otherwise I say that my value which is find not found okay okay let's run it and see 5 is found because it is found let me give you some value let's say 50 and it will say 50 is not found so the logic is we have declared a array of no matter how many numbers you have and we have a value which we want to find we have declared a boolean variable which is uh, by default false and we iterate over every element of the array and every time we check that element to our value if they both are equal which means we have that element in our array so we uh, make our check true and we break the loop because we don't need to iterate to other values since we have found our variable so we break the loop and outside loop we check if our check is true then we print that the value is found if it's not true then we say that our value is a uh, um, not found now there are some other ways to do the same work as well so let me comment this and uh, use some other ways other way is to use the stream of arrays so i import java.util.arrays okay and over here i declare my boolean variable which is basically found so this will uh, use the array stream which will return us true if our value is found in the array otherwise false so we say arrays dot stream and in a stream we pass our array and it has a function dot any match any match any match means if any one value matches any match and in any match we we take one element at a time and we see if that element um is equals to our value which we want to find okay which we want to find okay so uh this uh, i'll make you understand the code once we uh check if uh, this works properly so if it's true okay let me just copy this code to false code okay over here so if found is true then we print that the number is found otherwise it's not okay so let's run we have our number okay equal to sign is double equal i'm sorry and uh, 5 is found if i want to check 15 and it says 15 is not found which means our program is right so basically what's happening is array has a stream in which we pass our uh, array so we have passed our array into the array streams and we are basically checking if any match any match is a function which will return true if any one value from the array from this stream is matched to our condition so if any one value makes this condition true then this will basically return true overall okay which any match means of any one value matches okay and then we are taking one element of the array at a time and we are comparing it with our uh, find variable 
now the beauty of this is if you have let's say if you have an uh, um, array of strings you can compare them as well so let's say i have a string array strings equals to uh, i say java i say python i say uh, C++, I'm sorry, I need to declare all of these into uh, double quotation, not single. Yeah, C++ and then I have programming. Let's suppose I have this array, okay, and I want to find a string uh, value called Java. I want to see if there is a Java in my array, okay. So you can basically use this but except comparing two strings we'll use a, a string function which is our uh, element dot equals and we pass our find variable okay instead of using that equality sign for strings we use element dot equals find so element is a string from array and we call its strings built-in function equals and we pass our value that we want to find so if element and find are equal this will return true and if any of the uh, value is true our overall value will be true so let's run it and see if this works out i'm sorry i passed my array here but now i have strings not array okay so run it again and uh, there we go java is found okay if i give lowercase java and then run the program then it says that java not found because uh, the compare exactly checks uh, the ascii values of these so we have to be careful with the case as well if you want to ignore case we can just call the lower function of a uh, string to ignore the case anyway uh, that's it with this tutorial i hope you enjoyed um you have two ways you can iterate over the loop or you can use the built-in um, array stream as well it's up to you so that's it please subscribe my youtube channel and i'll see you in next tutorial